If you wanna create something super epic, super fast, you should use CapCut's templates. I'm gonna show you how to use CapCut templates on desktop, and then I'm gonna show you how you can share a template that you create on desktop, but you have to do that part using mobile. Let's jump in. From the home screen, we can click on templates and search for templates here to use. And that'll just open up a project in CapCut. Or you can simply hit create project and we can find templates here in the top left under templates. They've got a bunch of different categories of templates, templates they think that you will like. And then you can scroll down and look for all kinds of different templates that will suit your needs. Now, as you look at these templates, you'll see little icons down here. Here with the scissors are, it says 174,000. That's how many times people have used that template. That means it's probably pretty popular. Next, we have the number of videos or photos you can use in the template. And right here is the download button. And you can download it so you have quick access to it, or you can simply click and drag it to the timeline and it'll download it automatically. Notice as you scroll over it, it plays and you can hear it. And you also notice that you have this little star right there and that allows you to favorite it so you can find it later. They're kind of hard to find because there's so many of them and so many of them have similar names. So if you find one you like, I would for sure hit favorite. In fact, I'm gonna favorite this guy, even though we're not gonna use it and show you where to find it right here under favorites. We are gonna use this Netflix presents template right here. So we're just gonna drag that to the timeline and it's going to download it as we do that. And it's like, what do you do? It's so confusing. No, you just have nine clips you need to replace, but how do you do that? You just click on nine clips right here and then you drag and drop a photo or video into each one of those nine boxes right there. So let's jump back up into our media folder and import some footage. Now right here I've got some mountain biking, some sailing horizontal, some sailing vertical videos. I'm going to give them all to you to use however you want. You can monetize them, blast them over the internet. I don't care, don't give me credit. I have a link in the description for you to download all of the video content that we're using here. So you should probably click on that right now so you can follow along. Let's import this stuff and let's go with sailing vertical and just drop some stuff in. We're taking off, we got a map here. Now one thing you'll notice is that each one of these has how long the clip is going to be. So if you have a clip that is only three seconds and you drop into this thing that's 4.4 seconds, it's not gonna work. You gotta make sure the clip you're dragging down here is long enough to work. We're not gonna go too crazy here. We're just going to just drag and drop them really quickly so you can see how this works. You're doing this in the real world. You could do it that fast, but I suggest that you think it out beforehand so you tell a bit of a story. Anytime you're creating any video, even if it's just for flash and flare, you wanna have a story, a reason for them to watch and stick around to the end. In fact, the ending clip for this video should be sailing under the Golden Gate Bridge, which is what that is. So I'll make that last. And I see that I've used that clip twice. We don't want to do that. That's boring. Let's use a different clip here at the top. And to do that, I just drag another clip over it and I choose replace clip. Let's add a couple more clips in here to fill this thing out. And we're going to choose one from the horizontal videos. I'm going to click on all horizontal because that'll show you something different that we can do. And here's a nice little sunsetty thing, bam. So we could be, if we just scroll through this, this, this could be kind of done already. But what we really want to do is make sure we're using a portion of the clip that works for us. So if we click on this pencil right here, we select trim clip, and this allows us to choose the section of the clip we want to use. Here we've got the speed, we've got the map. Um, I guess let's use the map because that's the beginning. And we can see that right here, it's all map stuff. So hey, we're mapping out our course. So that's kind of maybe a good opening clip. Maybe it's not too exciting but whatever in this case we're gonna use it and we just hit replace clip and it's gonna use that section of it and if we click on each one of these we can see if we're using something we like you know that's fine that's really short these are all super short and I can see those are probably gonna be just peachy this gets a little longer let's look at this make sure we're using a pretty part of it yeah that works for me too you can check them all or just let it be however you want and that's you know kind of a similar thing but we've got hey another sailboat I like that I like that and I like that I love all of that now one thing that I mentioned is that I was gonna use a horizontal video which I did it's this one right here and it's right here and if I hit crop you can see that this automatically cropped this horizontal video to make it vertical if it had not done that some of the templates don't automatically do that. You'll have the ability to crop it here. Down here, there'll be something that allows you to choose the aspect ratio and say, hey, it's horizontal. It's not filling up the screen. 
Let's go ahead and make that thing vertical and just go, ah, make it nine by 16. So pretty easy to do. But this template is advanced. It automatically did it for you. You can also in the crop choose a different section of the video if you want. If you want to show the sunset, we could do that. But I think I like showing the, well, actually, yeah, I think I like it right there. So this allows you to choose which portion of a horizontal video you want to use. And let's have a look at this. Check it out. I'm only going to play a part of it because I don't want to get a copyright claim. I'm going to keep it under 10 seconds. I don't want to get in trouble. In fact, here's a fun side note. This account, as of now, I've got 130,000 something subscribers. I should qualify for the silver play button. But because of mistakes I have made, I'll never get it. I'm, I'm locked out because I've, I mean, frankly, I've shared things I should not have shared on YouTube. So I have to be really careful now. So this is only going to be like 10 seconds of this. Ready? Here we go. By the way, if you think I should get the silver play button, everybody just write to YouTube and share my account and say, please forgive him for his mistakes. He promises to be good. Anyway. Ooh, I, I really like that. By the way, if you like editing and you want to get better at it and you want to really understand everything CapCut does, I am right now in the process of remaking my entire CapCut course from scratch to reflect all of the changes that CapCut has made and all of the updates. And when I release that course, it is going to be $129. I thought it was going to be like November-ish, but uh, wife's been out of town and I've hunkered down and I've been jamming. And I think it's going to be ready really soon. By the way, right now it is September of 2025. So if you're watching this in 2026, it's definitely 120 bucks for the course. But if you happen to be watching this right Right now, it's 49 bucks to get version one of the course. And when version two comes out, you get that for free. You just need to go to mastercapcut.com right there or click on the link in the description below and enter the code heck yes. That's heck yes, no caps, no spaces. If you do that, you get version one of my course right now, which is still super relevant. And when version two comes out sooner than, than I thought, um, you get that for free. After that, version two is gonna be 120 bucks. So dude, do this. If you're a beginner and you want to learn to edit, you know what to do. When you watch that video, you might have noticed that you only heard this music here and you didn't hear any of the audio from any of these clips. And that's because whoever made this template turned the volume down for all of these. If you want to turn the volume up for these, you just click on the one you add volume to and up here you just go, hey, give me some volume. Boop. And if you want to turn the volume up or down for all of them, you click on this main track here and you click audio and you can turn the music up or turn the volume on all these clips up right here. That's music volume is the music and video volume is the music on each one of those. So you've got some control there. With the audio levels exactly where I want for all of these, this thing is ready to be exported. What if you want to create your own template and you want to make it available to the world. How do you do that? I have created such a template right here. You can do it in desktop. I'm giving you all this footage. So you can play with it and make your own version of this if you want. But I just chose a song. Anxiety. Oops, it's another copyrighted song, so I can't play very much. But it was available in the music library on CapCut. I'm doing it. And I just have one, two, three, four, five, six clips that I've added some effects to. Learn how to do that kind of stuff. And I've sped this stuff up. All the effects, anything you do to this when you share it as a template will be available and people will just be able to drag and drop their clips into your template and maybe you'll become famous. Since I have this already done, I'm not even gonna show it to you because, you know, copyright. I'm going to close it right here and I'm gonna go right here. It's, I called it CapCut template so I can find it. I'm gonna right click it here and I'm gonna choose upload and it is going to upload it to my space right here in my templates folder. And I'm gonna hit upload. And now it's uploading to the templates folder. And we're done with desktop. To make it a template available to planet Earth, you need to open up CapCut on your phone. Opening up CapCut on our phone, we're making sure that we're logged into the same account. I'm just gonna click on space because I just uploaded that project to my space. And that reveals my two spaces. I have two created. And I'm gonna click on the top one, which is where I uploaded it to. And then I'm going to click in that folder that says template because that's where I put it. And I'm going to click on this project called CapCut template. And I'm going to download it first so that I can have access to it because it's just showing me that, oh yeah, it's in the cloud. You want it on your phone? That's going to take up space. So let's download it first. Once it's downloaded, I can click edit down here in the bottom and it opens up this project, the exact same project I had on desktop. It opens up here on my phone and I can tweak it some more if I want. And I see all the effects, the speed ramps, everything's still in here. And then I have to hit export. Now when I export it, it's going to export it as a video file onto my phone, but then it opens up this other window. And right here in the middle, it says share as template. I'm going to click on settings for that. And I'm gonna hit post as template. Now I could test it 
just by hitting test and dragging different video clips and stuff into here. But we don't need to do that. I know it works. I can give it a name, Trevor's Anxiety. I, I got lots of that, how about you? You can add some hashtags, go into these advanced settings and modify these, default is fine. Then you just hit post as template and now it's, uh, it's going to the cloud and this will be a template available to planet Earth in about 10 more seconds. You can share it to TikTok from here. If you wanna see your templates and how they're doing, if people are using them, you just click on me in the bottom right, then where it says view profile, click on that. And now it'll load up. Can you hear my dog in the background? And show your templates, there's my templates. And I uploaded this earlier today to test it. That was only like an hour ago. And I can see that 372 people have viewed it, but nobody has used it yet. And then down here, I can see I have two other templates that I can see a couple people looked at and somebody even used that one. I, I think that's when I didn't understand templates like a couple of years ago and was just messing around. But if you want some self-esteem, just create a bunch of templates with your awesome editing skills, upload them and come back here to see if anyone's using them. Based on how many times my templates have been used so far, my self-esteem has just plummeted. If you want something more advanced, you really wanna learn how to make cinematic videos. And this is one of my favorite videos I've ever made on YouTube. And if you haven't seen it, you should watch it right, right there, right now. You're gonna dig it.